title Threads of Forgiveness. In the heart of the bustling city, where the relentless march of progress seemed to drawn out the whispers of the heart, lived two souls bound by blood and friendship. Sarah, a sister with fairy eyes and a heart that yearned for connection, was estranged from her brother Mark. And in the same city, James, a royal friend with a love that could light up a room, was adrift from his closest companions. The mechanical age had woven a tapestry of isolation where screens replaced faces and algorithms replaced conversations. Sarah and Mark communicated terse text, their heart heavy with unspoken words. James, surrounded by a sea of acquaintances, longed for the depth of a true friendship. The anger that festered between them was like a storm cloud casting a shadow over their lives. Eager stood the tall, guarding wounded heart, and the charm between them seemed insurmountable. One chilly evening, as the city's neon lights flickered, Sarah stumbled upon a bookshop tucked away in an alley. Amongst the shelves of wisdom, a title caught her eye, Threads of Forgiveness. The word seemed to resonate with her like a promise of something she had been yearning for. As she read, the pages unfold stories of redemption of hearts unburdened by the weight of resentment. The quotes that adorned the box pages echoed in her mind. Forgiveness is the power to choose how things affect you. Forgiveness is choosing to be happy. Forgiveness is simply freeing ourselves from wanting punish. Sarah's heart stirred. Could forgiveness be the key to mending the fractures in her relationship with Mark? Meanwhile, across town, James found himself in a similar sanctuary of thought where they stumbled upon a book that seemed to hold answers to his inner turmoil. The pages whispered turns that struck a chord. Forgiveness is always possible, but reconciliation is not always possible. Forgiveness gives us the freedom to stay and the freedom to walk away. The words settle in James' souls like embers of long extinguished fire, reigniting a glimmer of hope. Empowered by the wisdom they had unearthed, and Sarah and James took their first tentative steps towards forgiveness. They penned heartfelt letters to their estranged one bearing their souls in a bid for reconciliation. As the weeks passed, the healing began. Conversation was tentative at first, like fragile new shoots breaking through the hardened earth. But with each exchange, the walls crumbled, revealing the raw vulnerability that had long been buried beneath pride. Slowly, relationships mended. The bonds that had once seemed inseparably frayed were woven anew, stronger and more resilient than before. Sarah and Mark, James and his friends, they all learned that forgiveness was not a surrender of power, but a reclamation of it. It was a choice to free themselves from the shackles of resentment to embrace the possibility of happiness. In the midst of the postmodern age where screens often stood in for embraces, they discovered that the true connection could be solved through forgiveness. And in choosing forgiveness, they have indeed won not just the relationship but the profound liberating victory of the heart.